Today I'm going to show you how I'm repairing a hole in a soccer ball or a volleyball. Uh, my children both play or play both sports and we have yuccas in the backyard. So inevitably we have balls with holes in them and they flatten. This happens to be a volleyball. And because we have uh, so many balls with punctures, I looked on YouTube to see uh, how to repair it. And I saw some, some great videos suggesting that you can either use um, a flat tire repair or some contact cement like rubber cement. And in order to do that, you had to have a syringe uh, to inject the ball. So I tried that. I actually bought both of these off of Amazon. And uh, my challenge with that was finding a good syringe or delivery device. So none of the um, videos that I saw told me where to get the syringe. And what I was finding is that the syringe was either too narrow, so the needle was too narrow to allow the fluid to come through. So even though this has a nice long needle, um, and um, I think it's 20 milliliters here, um, it, was, uh, it wouldn't deliver or push through the liquid. So this was one of several marinade um, needles or injectors that I found. Um, I tried some with larger needles, but it was too, too, um, it was too large to fit through the, um, the hole here. So that didn't work. I also saw something like this. This is a medical syringe. It's actually 10 milliliters, which is a good amount of fluid to inject, but the stem is too short. Um, and one of the things I didn't realize until I found the proper thing is when you're coming in here, if, you're, if your needle or your syringe isn't long enough to get past the plug, then it creates this vacuum and you cannot push the liquid through. So one thing that has to happen is you have to find a syringe long enough that it will make it all the way through the plug into the ball to fill the cavity. So the idea here is that you're getting some sort of sealant. Um, and again, I'm sure you could use these. Um, I had, I, I came to a different conclusion um, and you have to inject it into the ball about 20 milliliters and then you uh, pump up the ball and you vigorously um, you know, shake it um, to be able to spread it out on the inside. So with um, probably six or seven failed injectors running to Home Depot and buying off Amazon, I even went to the tractor supply for livestock uh, syringes, uh, went to Lowe's, went to Walmart. I had a really hard time finding anything other than a marinade um, syringe, and that just would not push the fluid through. So what I ended up finding is something called the Ball Doctor, and it comes with its own syringe. You can buy a single dose, and if you buy the single dose, it's simply a syringe. It's a filled syringe, and it's one application. Um, I knew that I had several balls to repair, so I went ahead and bought the, the big jug. I'm not sure exactly how, how large this is. Um, and so we're just gonna use this. I'm gonna follow the instruction. But really, the purpose of the video is just to, this is a one-stop shop. Um, you don't have to guess if the syringe tip is long enough. Uh, you've got plenty to fill, and it's made for the exact purpose of um, repairing a ball. So the first thing, um, if you just read instructions, it's pretty easy, but you just need to shake it well. And again, I have filled several of these balls. So um, at the first one, I could just take the syringe and, and suck the fluid out, um, draw the fluid. But um, now that I've used quite a bit, um, I actually just am filling the syringe a different way. So the first thing is take the cap off. Um, and I say that because on one attempt, I did not. And uh, obviously, I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. So take the top off the plunger or the syringe and fill it up. You don't want to fill it totally to the top because you have to get the plunger back in. And again, I'm pouring it because I want a full syringe. And once the syringe or the needle is in the ball, it's really hard to fill it again. So you really just want to um, get your original amount in first. And you're gonna to have to pull the air out of the plunger. So if you see this, it's almost full. I would say it's maybe a half inch from being at the top. And then you have to get the plunger in and the plunger has to work out the air. So let's see if I can push this back a little bit. So I just put it over um, the original, and you can see a little bit's coming out here, but I gotta get the plunger activated. Um, but I'm putting it under the original container just to kind of save whatever um, I'm having to get out. Now, if you read the instructions or the directions, it does say to lubricate the syringe 
Um, and so, and then you're gonna stick it straight into the ball. So you're not going to twist it. Um, you're just gonna put it in straight. So it says to use a lubricant. I happen to be using Pam, and maybe you have a different idea. It works great. I guess you could just put some oil on the tip as well. So the next step is, and you can see this is flat, flat and this is a volleyball, but it's the same concept with a soccer ball. Um, but you're gonna find the air hole. I'm sure there's a better technical name. And you need to make sure that the plunger goes flush with the ball, because if not, the, the needle isn't gonna get through. And when you try to insert or push, it's not gonna come out. So I'm pretty good, I'm pretty flush. The plunger is flush with the ball. You're slowly gonna squeeze it. This syringe is made for this product, so it slowly and simply just pushes through. It says to do it slowly. I don't know that it makes that big of a difference. So you can hear it squeezed out. I got the rest of it in there. And this is reusable. This will be the sixth time I use this. So I'm gonna set that aside, and now the liquid is in there. Then the next step is to pump it up. So always moisture or lubricate the needle before we put it in again. So just push that in. And what we're gonna do now is just gonna be to pump up the ball. So the next step is there's this fluid and we have to distribute it to the inside. And when we do that, um, it's going to coat the inside and seal the punctures. So this is a, a, a sealant. I'm getting it pretty hard, it helps with the bouncing. And then it says to use high velocity. It doesn't give an exact time, but I've been going, you know, five or 10 minutes. And of course, I wanna be able to show you here, but I've been giving it some really good smacks. You can also, I suppose you can kick it. But what I've actually done with mine is just lots of dribbling and in a good five or 10 minutes. Um, you probably don't need to go that long. And so when you do that, which I'll continue after this video, you have a perfectly sealed ball and you can use this again. But one of the questions I had, or one of my thoughts were, will the sealant close the air hole? And it doesn't. So um, in the back here, oh, there's my cat. But you can see, come on, Mary. These are the balls that I have repaired. And so it's a combination of soccer balls and also um, volleyballs, but they're completely repaired and um, completely fixed. So this is a great way to do it. It's the exact same thing I saw on YouTube. But what I struggled with is I had a really hard time finding the proper syringe that would deliver the fluid. So the needle was long enough, the, the, the sealant worked. And so my suggestion is if you are looking to repair balls, um, ours uh, will continue to pop. You can do this more than once. This is a great product. Um, I bought it online and uh, you don't have to search for the syringe and the products differently. So anyways, I hope that helps. It certainly was a big help to me. And uh, I don't know, I probably have 10 or 12 more ball repairs in here, but it's a great solution. And within about five or 10 minutes, the ball holds air perfectly, it holds it overnight. And uh, again, the repairs behind me have um, held air for over a week. So anyways, check out the ball doctor. Thanks so much.